Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of December. This is the second reading for December. I put the other one at the end if you've missed that one. Um, this is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, keep in mind that this is not a private reading. It may or may not resonate with you. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I focus on love. I want to thank all my subscribers I, you know, that have helped me reach over that 100K mark. I appreciate you and I love you, so thank you. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I did a live thank you the other night. If you missed it, feel free. It's on my... Uh, you know, I made it like a trailer, so it's easy, easily accessible. Leo, Leo. What does Leo need to hear for the month of December? Something. And remember, this could go for at any time in December. Leo. What does Leo need to hear? Ooh, you have a new opportunity, okay? You have a new opportunity here. You just need to focus on that instead of real, instead of continuing to think that you're never going to find it or you're never going to get it or focusing on the losses that you've had in your life. Realize that you have another opportunity waiting for you, okay? You do. You do. This is about crying over a loss or holding on to a loss. No, 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 no. You have another opportunity. You do. All you need to do is focus. Take this time to reflect. Take this time to go within. Uh, to become consciously aware of your options. Okay? This is like uh, going within. Okay? So you got to go within. You got to go within. You got to do what you got to do to realize I mean, it's like the light is being shown on the new opportunity. You do, it will be shown. Your new opportunity will be shown. It will be. Absolutely. This, it just, just clarified what I was just saying. It will be shown. It's, no, it's not going to be hidden for long. Whatever has been hidden or going on beneath the surface is about to be brought to the surface if it has not been brought to the surface already. You know, but the thing is, is you can't, you gotta be optimistic, not pessimistic, okay? You gotta let go of your pessimism. You have to think positive. You need to um, not be so hard on yourself. Leo. Hard work pays off. Put in effort. To get wherever you need to be. Work hard on yourself. Sometimes it's you have to be alone to get to where you need to be. You know, I think that you are probably wanting more. You're probably wishing for more. You're praying for more. But you're not seeing or you, you just can't see that there's another opportunity. You may not believe there's another opportunity. You're so focused on some sort of loss. I mean, here he's focused on loss. And again, I mean, there's somebody is so focused on not getting the happiness that they wanted that they can't see that there's another opportunity a real opportunity the ace of cups and the two of cups for love but you have to put in effort to see the light you have to be put in effort to be aware that when something doesn't work out it's because there's something better You have a new opportunity here. Something that is very real. 
okay? This is a real opportunity for something new to begin, but this is starting, starting from the beginning in a new direction. But the only way you're going to be able to go down this path is to regain your focus, to think positive, and to be able to do things in a new way, okay? You gotta do things differently. But right now I think you're going, you may be confused, you may have options, you may not know what your options are, you may be scared of choosing the wrong option. But you definitely have options. The only thing is, is that now you gotta make a decision. You have to make a choice. And you have to choose wisely. You can choose to stay focused on some sort of loss, focused on hurt, keep crying over spilled milk, whatever. You can, you can choose that. Or you can choose to put in effort to focus on what other opportunities you have. You have a choice here. Oh my God, okay? There's a there's a loss here. There's emotional loss where you you don't you're not allowing yourself to feel joy and to realize there's the sometimes there's a gift in losing. There's a gift in losing something that isn't meant to you. You're gonna get a better opportunity. Perhaps from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But you have to, you should be celebrating your loss. And I know you're like, what the fuck? But that's the truth. Because whatever it was that you lost wasn't compatible. It wasn't compatible. It wasn't, there was too many arguments. It wasn't, um... It wasn't a soulmate connection, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, or even if it was, it wasn't compatible, wasn't it? Maybe it was a karmic soulmate connection, I don't know. Whatever it was, it wasn't, it wasn't compatible, it was too argumentative, it just, there was too much fighting, there was too much uh, disconnection in the relationship, and you need to let it go because you have a better opportunity right here, I mean, it's right in your fingers, it's right at, right at your fingertips. But you got to think positive. And you need to open your heart. Make yourself emotionally available. You, you know, you were probably dealing with somebody who wasn't emotionally available to you. And it caused you to shut down. Maybe you were the only one putting in effort and the other person wasn't. And now you're like, oh, shit, I don't even believe in love. But, you, you know, you need to be able to go through certain things to evolve. And I think we, this, I kind of started this reading out, but in different words. This is a time of becoming who you're truly meant to be. This is a card of purpose, okay? Everything happens for a reason. It's funny, and I, I've already explained this a little bit already in this reading. Everything happens for a reason. Whatever has happened is bringing you closer to something more abundant. It really, really is. This is a card of patience. Maybe you need to learn patience. This is also a card of healing. So perhaps you need to allow yourself to heal. Maybe you need to um, give yourself time. Everything happens for a reason. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again. So I'm wondering if you guys are having a new connection with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could also be a Sagittarius, or I don't know who. But we have Sagittarius, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is a, 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 a stable, solid, practical situation or person that is coming into your life that is going to bring balance and harmony and 
help you to evolve but you have to think positive you have to open your heart you have to allow this person into your life you have to realize that I think I said this in a quote I think I said this earlier today in a quote and maybe it was for you because you guys were on the agenda you were on the list for today Somebody else's loss is another person's gain. And that's what this is. You are gaining something more stable, more balanced, more solid than whatever it was that you ha hurt you. So we do have a, a solid golden opportunity. This Queen of Pentacles is holding the gold. She's holding the gold. So it looks as though we have a golden opportunity here if somebody can only be patient and wait for it to grow. Okay, Be patient, work hard, put in effort, um, make compromises, do whatever you got to do to allow time to allow this to unfold, okay? Because it's unfolding as it should. Everything is unfolding as it should. You have a new opportunity here after letting go of something that was very emotionally hurtful. Okay, something really hurt you. And as soon as you realize that that happened for a reason, that you have another opportunity, as soon as you turn around, you accept this new opportunity, things are going to start happening fast. Wish fulfillment. It's a blessing, like I said, it's a blessing in disguise. It's a time of hope, it's a time of inspiration, it's a time of receiving a gift, a reward for, for realizing that a loss is actually a gain. So we have some sort of wish, like a wish upon a star that is coming true. And maybe you make that wish today. And you patiently wait for it to happen if you haven't made that wish. Because today is the new moon. You make a wish on the new moon and you wait for, this is wait, this is patience. You wait for it to manifest, okay? So, and this is the Ace of Pentacles, which is a card of manifestation. I mean, it's a, the Ace of Pentacles is a, is manifestation. It is the card of manifestation, so Yes. You, you make that wish and allow time for it to manifest, and it's going to manifest, period. Especially if you think positive. Anyway, anyway. So we have wish fulfillment that is coming in for those of you that realize that you have a better opportunity. And it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, could even be an Aquarius, but I don't know. This is a time to perhaps make some compromises to work together, to learn new skills, to learn new things, to communicate. Um, and this is, this would probably be your energy, Leo, to set a vision, you know, envision your future with this person, to get creative, to be confident, to hold your head up high, to be proud of what you have accomplished. You should be proud of what you've accomplished. Because I think that there's somebody that wants to work with you. Somebody that wants to put in effort. Somebody that wants to evolve with you. To grow with you. And you know, these two people coming together could help each other to heal. So I feel like we have some sort of... Almost like help arriving. Or somebody coming into your life with something you know, brand new in which you are able to start down a new path slowly but surely. And it leads to love. I mean, this is a, it leads to relationship. It leads to growth. I mean, we have a, we have a genuine, it looks like a genuine offer of love here, which 
um, could lead to something really, really uh, abundant, you know. But but you have to think positive. <coughs> Sorry. And put in effort. You know, it takes time for things to grow. You have to be patient to build. A, and I know patience is not a strong suit of Leo. It's not. Patience is all over in this reading. You have to be patient. You have to go through the steps. You can't skip any of them. You can't skip any of the steps to get your abundance. It One step at a time, okay? One step at a time. So it feels as though you guys are going to receive what you want, what you wish for. If you, if you manifest it, you put effort into realizing that, you know, you, you don't focus on loss anymore. You don't focus on hurt. You focus on the growth. You focus on the healing. You focus on the, the, uh, the forward path. You focus on the horizon. You let go of the past. You let go of the hurt. You have this new opportunity here. Something that you can take to the bank that is coming into your life if you choose to realize it. Because we have somebody here that doesn't want to see it. Okay, We have somebody that is watching this video that is only focusing on a loss. If you don't be optimistic and choose to see things differently, then you will continue to live with those consequences because this is a card of consequences. You have to see things differently. You have to realize that everything happens for a purpose. There's a reason why things don't work out. There's a reason to, to lead you down another path, a, a, ta a path towards, you know, better times, happiness, wish fulfillment. This really is a time of hope. It really is a time of inspiration. It's a blessing that this didn't work out, whatever it was. Trust me, it was because you have an opportunity for true love. But if you don't see it that way, you know, your thoughts become things. And that's the truth. You have to put in effort and allow things to grow in their own time. Divine timing right here. And I know this is a mess, and it has been a mess, right? I can't, I can't even fix it now. It's been a mess. It's been a mess. And part of the reason things have been a mess is because of the lack of patience. If you have to rush into something, you can expect to get hurt. It takes time for things to grow. So, what else we got here? What about this new lover? Who is this new lover? What do we got going on about this new love situation? Now that we got a mess, we have wish fulfillment that's coming in. A blessing, a reward. A reward for seeing the light, okay? A reward for going down that new path, for coming outside of your shell, for seeing the light, you're a reward. Ooh, could be a sexual one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, now we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn all over in this reading, okay? Because we, that, and it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The Queen of Pentacles right in the middle. Wherever she is. Or she was in the middle. She got moved though. But. You got to be careful who you talk to. You got to be careful who you get involved with. Really think twice before you get involved with toxic situations. Because toxic situations, people that, you know, are driven by ego.
are going to keep you stuck. They're going to keep you stuck. They're going to keep you trapped. Don't choose based on looks. That's only going to lead to disaster. We have a rude awakening here. A false, a false foundation. Perhaps with a Scorpio that was toxic. I don't know. Scorpio or Capricorn. But this is enlightenment. So I don't know. I think somebody has been enlightened about a toxic situation that was false. And now, and now they have to break free. Because this is breaking free as well. Breaking free from this false whatever it was. <laughs> Deceptive whatever. Will bring wish, wish fulfillment. So you guys may need to break, break up or break free from something to find your wish fulfillment. Whatever this is. Break that tie. Cut the, cut the, cut, cut the, cut the chain. Like, really, cut the chain. No contact. So you may need to cut the chain to receive your wish fulfillment, whatever this chain is. The blessing. Remember I said another per a loss is actually a gain. So, yeah, we absolutely have a blessing coming in when this bond gets broken, this toxic bond. But you have to take that step. You have to take that step. So Leo, it looks like you have to make a choice here about change. Do you want wish fulfillment or not? Do you want to keep focusing on a loss? You want to keep going back and forth with somebody who's, who's messing with you? Or do you really want change? Do you really want the gold? What do you want? Because you have to make a choice here. You're going to have to go within and make a decision instead of you know, living with, you know, this some sort of, this right here, this is what I was looking for. This is like uh, choices, decisions. You have to make that right choice. You have to decide. You can't, you can't have both. You can't have both. And, and this is a card of the universe. And this, is, this is a universe card. You can't have both. You can only have one. You have to make a choice. What do you want? Do you want stability? Do you want the golden opportunity? Or do you want to play games with somebody that's toxic? Because you absolutely, positively cannot have both. Universe is not going to give you a reward if you're, if you're juggling, you're going back and forth, and you're going to continue to pay, live the consequences with that. So anyway, I feel as though you have to make a choice this month, and you have an opportunity for new love here. You have an opportunity for something that is very genuine, um, balanced with the temperance card, healing, uh, stable, practical, long-term, but you have to decide that you want it and you need to think positive and you, you can't hold on to the toxic, whatever it is that you're hanging on to, that needs to go. And it needs to be blocked. The universe is trying to tell you something. They're trying to remove something. The universe is trying to remove something toxic from your life. But you have to see the light. You have to allow it. You have to, your free will plays a part. You have to allow it. And if you don't allow it, then you're going to keep having chaos. And you're going to keep having disorganization. And you're going to keep having trouble. And you won't get the love that you deserve because you're still playing games with somebody that's toxic so there's a reason why things happen and you have an opportunity for new love here if you break the chain you break the bond or break whatever it is with whoever it is that you are still communicating with wallowing over whatever it is because you have a new opportunity for wish fulfillment. Something you've wished for. True wish fulfillment. 
but you have to, you can't, you can't have your cake and eat it too. It don't work like that. Right now, you're not getting what you deserve because you, you, you have to drop one of these. You have to drop something. Something has to be dropped. So yeah, there's, there's, there's a lost opportunity. You're lose, somebody is losing an opportunity to get what they deserve by holding on to somebody that is toxic. That's what I see. There is an opportunity for something really stable and solid long term here, but this person is loyal. This person is um, stable and secure, and she will she will accept nothing less but than stability. So, Leo, you definitely have a choice to make. This is a choice. And it's a choice between two. It is a choice between two. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. With who? With who? That's the question. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Woohoo! You have to you have to be optimistic. You have to let go of things that hurt you. Don't hold on to resentment. Don't hold on to bitterness. Open your heart. Because we have an opportunity here that is either in your life now or coming right in in which you are probably supposed to give it a chance. You know, it could lead to marriage. But you can't, you can't, you can't juggle. There's no juggling here. Wish fulfillment will arrive if you don't play games. No games. No games. I think somebody has been trying to give a one-sided relationship a chance. No. It takes two. I have to show you what's on the bottom. Because <laughs> remember, I kept on saying, stay optimistic. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that's the truth. Your thoughts truly do become things. But if you stay tied to somebody that is toxic, then you're screwed. Because it fucks with your thoughts. You have to break those chains. You have to cut those cords and not look back. Otherwise, you tell the universe. The universe knows. <laughs> the universe knows. You can't lie to the universe. The universe knows if you've cut those ties or not. And if you have not cut those ties, they see that you have not cut those ties. And they can't bring you your reward until you do cut those ties. So anyway, for those of you that have cut the ties, you have a reward here. Something that you can take to the bank. For those of you that are thinking about cutting the ties, you've given it a chance, you've given it a whirl... Is you really need to make a chance. You need to you need to make a, a a choice to take that step to get what you deserve. You need to make come up with Plan B. We have a connection here that could lead to marriage if you can think positive and cut. Cut, 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 cut. Whoever it is that is not stable in your life. There's somebody here that's not stable. It's not. Anyway, do whatever you want to do, but you have a new opportunity here. You just have to choose it. It's your choice. Good luck.